All right, I've been putting it off way too long. It's time to upgrade these light strips. But I'm wondering, should I use some pre-assembled light strips like these Govi M1s with matter or be brave and build them myself? I love pre-assembled light strips. They make it so easy. And sometimes when I watch DIY light strips videos, it feels like I need an electrical engineering degree to understand it all. And sometimes you just can't beat the price. Like these light strips under my bed are $20. That's so cheap. And they get the job done. They turn on when I get out of bed and turn off when I get back in bed. I don't need them to do anything fancy. Or these light strips right here are only $26 and they have really good warm and cool white colors. That's why I put up some old Govi light strips here in the corner because they are only 30 bucks, which is pretty inexpensive for some addressable light strips that are that long that include the power and controller. So should I just put up some Govi M1 light strips and call it a day? Well, let's see what the DIY options have to offer first. So recently I put up some light strips in my bathroom and I decided to go the DIY route. And the reason for that is I wanted really good warm and cool whites and colors and I wanted two strands connected to one power source. If I would have gone the pre-assembled route, it would have cost a lot more than going the DIY route. And once I did the DIY light strips, I realized they were way easier than I thought they were going to be. Now, probably the most difficult thing out of this entire process is figuring out what to buy. So I'll link some really good combination of light strips, controllers, and power sources down in the description so you can pick them up on Amazon. So that's all great, but I was wondering, is the quality much different from the pre-assembled to the DIY version? So I put some head-to-head -to, -head to see if the quality was better or not. And for the first one, I'm using Wiz, which is in my family room, with the light strips that I'm using in the bathroom. So if you're using some accent lighting in a small area like we have in our family room or behind your desk in your office, you could easily get away with something that are pre-assembled. But if you wanna put some light strips like all over and light up your entire room with like really good warm or cool whites, well, that might be a little different. So if you're comparing something like the Wiz, which has really good warm and cool whites because they have the warm and cool white diodes, with some DIY light strips that have a really high CRI score, you can see a massive difference between the warm and the cool whites. So a really high CRI score, which means they're a lot more color accurate, is gonna look way better if you're lighting up a really big area. And not only do these light strips have a really good CRI score, but they're the Cobb style, so it looks like they're one big LED light, even though they're a bunch of tiny little LEDs right next to each other. And this makes it look so much better if they're installed underneath cabinets where you might be able to see the LED diodes normally. And when you see these, it looks like one big light and it looks way more professional. Now, how close the little LEDs are on the light strip doesn't make a huge difference if it's bouncing off a wall or a ceiling. But if you have the light strips facing you, like I have right here in the corner, it makes a really big difference because if you don't have good enough diffusion, you can see the little LED diodes and it just doesn't look as good. So one benefit of the Govi M1 light strips is that the LEDs are closer together than normal light strips. That's a big reason people are liking these things, but I tested it out with this channel cover in the corner with the diffusion and you could still see the LED diodes. It was better than like the ones I have in right now, but you could still see them. If you were using some deeper channel covers and some better diffusion, the Gobi M1s would be perfect for that. It would all blend together and you wouldn't see the little LED diodes. But I wanted something that would fit in this corner channel cover and I found a really good option. They're Cobb style, so they look like one big LED 
and their dream color. They're pretty sweet. Because these DIY light strips are addressable, you have a few different options to control them. You can get some kind of controller that will do it all for you. They're a little more expensive, but it will make it easier. I'll link one of them down in the description. Or you can use a little ESP device like an ESP32 or 8266. And what's great about one of these is they're only about five or six bucks. So you can save quite a bit and still get all the same functionality to control your light strips. But it does take a little bit of extra work. And I made a whole second channel video explaining how to get this connected with these light strips and walk you through the process, the wiring and all of that. So after seeing how difficult it is to go the DIY route versus the pre-assembled Govi option, I think a lot of people are gonna choose Govi because the RGB colors look amazing, it has cool effects, it's just really easy to get up and running. But if you're like me and you have some specific requirements like I have right here in the corner, the DIY option might be a better route because you can get those cob lighting and it's gonna look great in these channel covers. Plus the smart home integration is gonna be slightly better because even though Govi works with matter, which is great to see, you can only change the colors and the brightness with matter. You can't do all of the effects you can in the Govi app with matter. So if you wanna integrate that into your smart home, it might be slightly more difficult, but if you're going the DIY option, you can use WLED and that integrates really well with Home Assistant. So you can set some cool effects as presets and integrate those into Home Assistant and you can use those for automations. And that's the reason I kind of want to use DIY right here. But I get it. If you don't want to solder and all the complications with DIY, I think pre-assembled light strips are a great option for most people. But I will be using the DIY light strips here in this corner. So time to take these down and put the new ones up. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever laid my eyes on. You light up my life. Me? Wait, uh...